this was one of my favorite clips because it's so smooth, so fluid, and it's also using four different slide techniques in a sequence to get from one corner of the map to the other. And it's actually kind of like optimal, uh, which is crazy. We'll go over all four of these techniques, but it starts with a drop slide, right? So remember how I said, even an angle like this can be used for a drop slide. You can get creative with it. Of course, I can drop slide these ramps or I can ramp slide these ramps, right? I can do the standard where I like kick myself out. Like that's a pretty sick ramp slide, right? The issue with this is it sends me into the wall. It's hard to get a good angle off of it, right? So if I'm specifically trying to go to this wall or something uh, and then maybe chow out from there, then, then I can use that ramp slide. Remember, you just time the crouch input, bam, like right at the very top of the ramp, shortly after you start like running down it. You gotta find that sweet spot time. I can do two ramp slides if I want. I can go like one, I could try to like kick myself out for one and then two like that, right? Because both these ramps can be slid down and this one could be useful for a ramp slide as well. Uh, that's one way that I can send myself over. Like that was a pretty sweet one, right? And then I can connect it into like a spring jump, whatever. Uh, but I found that the best, like smoothest way, to, if you want to go under the base, is to drop slide it on a diagonal like that, right? And depending on how you land, you might hit a wall, you might not, right? You gotta get that perfect. And you can even slide to the right so I can even have my reticle here as I do it, right? So like really high level players are gonna find efficient ways to not sacrifice their ability to shoot while they make these smooth slides to get from one place to another. So drop slide. And then we have this I haven't shown yet. This is a slide spring thrust to get over to the BR. Now this technique, is definitely a new meta technique as well. I don't think any pros are using this at all, mainly because it's hard to find situations to use it and you cannot do this without the scoreboard and most players use the scoreboard to spring jump in this game. They don't try to do it the regular way. You can only use this technique doing a normal spring jump. That's because of the mechanics when sliding up a ramp. So the way this works is when you slide at the top of a ramp, your feet actually briefly leave the floor. This is what it looks like in third person. So as long as this ramp is steep enough, when you time a slide at the top of it, you'll notice that you actually leave the floor. So this Spartan is in midair right now. And the only criteria to spring jump is to land on the floor in crouch. Doesn't matter how high you land from. So this counts as long as you hold crouch the entire time from the slide to the impact on the floor right here. This counts as you landing in crouch. So then from there, you can spring jump right after. So you would sprint and then time a slide at the top of the ramp. So you kick yourself off the floor, keep crouch held down the entire time, and then you're ready to spring jump. You just need to hit the spring jump input timing. The reason this doesn't work with scoreboard is because there's no opportunity for you to hold, jump, and crouch, and then bring up scoreboard, right? Because if I try to slide and then hold jump, I'm going to jump every time. Because you're not leaving the floor enough. You have to hold jump and crouch to scoreboard spring jump. And I don't know how you would, because you're not really leaving the floor. You're just kind of tricking the game, basically. Anyway, so you got to do it this way. Slide over and then spring jump thrust, right? So you got to hit these inputs and then angle it correctly, and you'll cleanly get into BR. So it's not easy to do. Very satisfying when you pull it off. And it's hard to find good situations to use this technique. But if you can figure it out, you can get some great mileage off of it. Once I connected that, I did a slide off, which is the third slide technique in the four that we use here. So just slide off to keep my momentum, right? Nice and easy. This is something I imagine will be in Halo Infinite is just timing a slide to get yourself over to a lower ledge. Uh, and this can be used in many ways. It's used in, in Halo 5 in many ways already.
so you can use that to keep your momentum as you get to this next part where I use the fourth slide technique, a ramp slide, to kick myself over to OS, which honestly, this, this ramp slide here, one of the best ones in the entire game. It's very hard to do to get it framed perfectly, but if you do land it properly, you land right here beside OS, and you still have your thrust in the back pocket, so you can jump thrust away with OS, which honestly, it's, it's good for starting strats, it's good for mid-game, for twos, for so many situations. Highly recommend you practice the timing on this ramp slide out on a diagonal. You can do it both ways, right? You can hit this as well, right? Fun little, uh, not really an Easter egg, but a little fun fact here. If you guys didn't already know, you can use this in twos, maybe fours as well. If I push myself into the wall, I don't know if you can see this. You see like the inside of fan, you can see through the wall. So if somebody's standing on the opposite side of fan, you can actually see them if you push your body right here. Just a nice little, little tip, pro tip.